wind, rain, and cold weather. As the El Nino storms approach, these are three things that won't be quite so foreign to Southern Californians anymore. For the next two to three months, we will be subject to storms affecting our community, and they've already visited our school. Now, as you can see here, this is definitely more rain than we usually get in Carlsbad, but this is only a fraction of what's to come. Seeing as torrential downpours are expected, the city of Carlsbad has been preparing all they can. So we're in the city's emergency operations center, we call it the EOC, and this is the location where we, uh, we collect all the information related to El Nino weather that could impact the city. We monitor social media, we monitor traditional media, we monitor digital media like website uh, resources. One of the things that we have uh, that's different in this El Nino year that didn't exist back in 97 was that we have a burn area in Carlsbad associated with the poinsettia fire. And it takes a while for the vegetation to regrow in those areas and for the roots to be able to hold the soil. So with these uh, heavy periods of rain, we can get mudslides in those areas. Because of the risks these storms pose, we must all try to be a little more careful. For CHS-TV, I'm Logan Welsh.